Goodbye, Gen Z. Hello, Gen A. I know I said I wasn't going to look at generation videos anymore and stuff, but like, I don't know, bro. This just seems interesting. So let's see what this is about. <clears throat> Y'all, isn't it crazy, though? Like, I'm assuming this video is talking about Gen Alpha is going to take over, bro. In like the next 10 years. Wait, how old are y'all child? How old are you about to be in like the next 10 years? Dude, I'm gonna be 31. That's pretty bad. I ain't gonna lie. That's that's pretty bad. That's pretty bad. 23, 30, 26, 27, 24, 25. I'm gonna be 35. Damn! My bad, bro. My bad. I'm just playing. <laughs> Yo, that means bro, in 10 years, like instead instead of Gen Z making this sh bro, everybody's gonna be I mean most of most of people are anyways are already working and doing different things, but like it's gonna be all, all the Gen Alpha kids making the jokes and stuff, and then we're gonna be the losers. That's why I'm kind of. That's why I'm interested in seeing what what this video is about. All right, let's get to the video though. I never thought we'd get to this point, but I guess time really flew by when we were having so much fun learning mm. through a computer screen, watching life get more expensive, and preparing. Now I feel like out of all generations, bro, like time flew by fast faster for us because technology just kept advancing and advancing, and it's gonna keep advancing. But like, bro, ten years ago. Okay, I want to say it wasn't common to have a smartphone. It kind of was by 2014. It kind of was. But not really. Not really. People still have flip phones and stuff like that. And the phones were not really the best best. Okay, like I think 2014 is when the iPhone 4 or no 5 released. That was the first like upgrade in technology, I guess. Where it was like, okay, this might be the future. Mostly until 2016. Yeah, just stuff started ramping up, ramping up. And I feel like that's why it felt like, you know, like for Gen Z especially, it started aging faster. It felt like things just went by so fast for yet another economic downturn about to arrive. Here's the cherry on top. The era of Generation Z is coming mm. to an end. In fact, 2024 will be the final year of Gen Z's undisputed no. status as the youth in society. And from 20 I'm gonna be honest, good riddance, bro. With the amount of like trends and y'all are coming up with now, it's not even funny at this I, I, Like the slang was is cool, but y'all coming up with the unspoken rizzes, the Ohio's, this... Nah, Skibbity's a Gen Alpha thing. Skibbity's a Gen Alpha thing. Y'all coming up with these these bullshit terminologies is good rants, man. I'm ready to put in the flag. I'm gonna be honest. I'm ready to uh, throw in the towel. I'm done. Bring back the devious look challenge. <laughs> All right, let me let it keep playing. 25 onward, our generation will see a continuous decline in our impact on youth culture, which you can think of as the ideas, trends, memes, mm. and slang young people create that are largely bruh, stan, goat. If you know, you know. Ratio sus. Separate from broader society. We're gonna cringe at these in like 10 years, probably. Maybe not, bruh. We people have been saying bruh since like like 2000s. For the past 15 years, Where's Generation Z became increasingly influential in this space, creating more and more of the culture youths enjoy today. But for the next 15 years, Gen Z's impact will diminish further and further. No. Generation Alpha Why is Queso there? As the new kids in What town. the hell? Riding his chair. Like it or not, Gen Z is now at the top of the roller coaster we call youth. And since we're at the peak, mm. it naturally means no. that there's only one direction left to go. Don't take down. us down. Now, before you protest and exclaim, no, that can't be true. We just got here. Yeah, well, I guess that's how millennials felt when we suddenly invaded all those years ago. For our whole lives up to this point, we were always the newer, younger, cooler generation we're all going of society. To but unfortunately, I mean, I feel like not really. It's going to take, it's legit going to take like 10 years because the youngest. People of like Gen Z, are, Gen Z are like 13 or 14. So, bro, in like 10 years, they'll be like 24 or something like that, bro. Uh, it's gonna take a little minute. This is the beginning of the end to that. And from 2025 onward, as Gen Alphas become teenagers, they'll be gaining more and more influence with each passing year while Gen Z slowly fades into adulthood. But first, who exactly are Gen Alphas? One way to understand this generation would be to look at the years associated with them. The beginning and end for each generation is always subject to debate. But to refresh our memory, baby boomers are generally considered to be born between 1946 to 1964. Damn! Oh my god, bro. You see them out there. Hold on, let me rewind this. Boomers are generally considered to be born between 1946. Bro, they out there just smoking cigs like it's normal. 
out there smoking cigs on, 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 the, on the college campuses. I mean, to be fair, we're not any better. All right, we're a little bit better. Vaping is a little bit better, but nah, not really. Kind of same outcome. 2013 to 2023's Gen Alpha. I, I be seeing people be like, uh, if you're like, what do they say? 2013 or something like that is Gen Z, like t 1997. I, I don't even know what it is. I'm putting it at 2010. I'm putting it at 2010. 1966 to 1964, Gen X between 1965 to 1979, Millennials between 1980 to 1994, Gen Z between 1995 to 2009, and Gen Alpha between 2010 to 2024. But just knowing the years associated with Gen Alpha doesn't really help us understand who they are Rizzo. as a generation. A better way would be to look at significant events Yo! that dramatically changed on, their generation and the world around them. Gen Z's unique upbringing was coming to age in a post-9-11, post-Great Recession world, which impacted mm. not just the US, but most- Should've bought a house in 2008 instead of being in third grade. Oh God, bro. Yo, I'm so pissed. I'm so pissed. Why, did, why didn't I buy a house instead of sitting there and learning my ABCs? I'm really mad about that. I'm really mad about that. Why didn't my parents tell me to invest in Bitcoin as a kid? Why? It's actually so true. I'm, I'm so mad about this. Should've bought crypto instead of being a fetus. <laughs> ...of the West through increasing government surveillance, rising income inequality, and a greater distrust of government and corporations. In contrast, Gen Alpha's unique upbringing is characterized by being the first generation to be born into a world completely dominated by smartphones, That's so iPads, terrible. AI, and That's other so technologies. Terrible. Many so people sad. forget that just over a decade ago, only a minority of Americans had a smartphone, and they were even mm. less common in other countries. And so, every generation before Gen A can still remember a world without these devices, without the excessive use of social media, and without All I'm the seeing ubiquity is peak. of the internet. All I'm seeing is the peak. transition of many important parts of our lives like work, school, and entertainment from the physical world to the virtual was only accelerated mm. by the pandemic. It is now becoming easier than ever to live your entire life on the internet. Need to go shopping? Mm -hmm. There's Amazon. Need to eat? There's DoorDash. Need to get an education? There's online classes. Bro, you know what's crazy too? Everybody's used to that. That's the worst thing about these technologies. Like, legit, there was a certain point where like things like DoorDash and Amazon and stuff like that didn't exist. I barely remember what I did to, <laughs> to get stuff online when i didn't i mean i was younger i was still getting stuff i barely remember what i did actually wait no amazon was a thing amazon was big since i was a kid so that's a lie but there's other certain things like doordash and stuff like that i don't remember what i did bro doordash is ass money? not gonna lie there's remote jobs or only fans need friends or oh yeah top i'm not even gonna say anything partner? there's apps for that too and once ai gets good enough friendships Dating and relationships with these algorithms will become an option for people as well eliminating the need to form connections ah. with actual humans at all unlike previous generations gen alpha will never experience a world before all this and the implications of growing up in such a dramatically different environment have yet to be fully understood when looking at the generations, you might notice a pattern here. Every one of them after Tinder the boomers has been roughly 15 years in length. So to understand Gen Z's impending downfall, all we have to do is go back 15 years to see the exact same thing happen to millennials. The year is 2009, and Obama was just inaugurated president thanks in large part to the youth at the time, millennials, voting him in. Compare that to Gen Z having Bro, to- Bro, I remember the peakness of when Obama w was in office, dude. I feel like politics was kind of- Politics was more chill back then, bro. Compared to, like, social media. Because nowadays, bro, you can't say anything. Honestly, saying anything, you're cooked. On politics, y'all ever notice me? I don't, I don't say anything. Not a single thing. It's really rare. Sometimes I'm like, every once in a while. But you say one thing, everything's assumed about you. That's the worst thing ever. Dude, like, if I ever bring my parents' political opinions, like, <clears throat> my parents are, are democratic, right? But they have different, they, they don't fully agree with everything. That's most uh, uh, democratic people that are older and stuff. If I bring them on, on stream, people will be like, oh, and they said their political opinions, people will be like, oh my God, why would they say this, this, and that, this, and that? It's like, bro, you, you're not even thinking for yourself. Yeah, that's mo most of the time, like, th there's a difference between, you know what I'm saying, each generation's politics and how they go about it. But I'm just thinking, like, damn, back, back then, they were just talking about anything. They didn't care. To vote for either this. And, and, and Joan, Shingang, Sh Calm down, Joe. You can get it out. You can get it out, okay? Just, let's rewind it, okay? 
It's a word. It's called a word. Go ahead. Yes. And 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 Joan Shingang. I almost got it. You almost got it. You almost got it. Kawawa. Or this. Bro, it's so over. Go <laughs> my so over. It's so over. <laughs> what is the context of that clip? What is the context of that clip? That's that's so funny. And even better, twice in a row. Political polarization is at an all-time high. And with over we 60 dead? countries voting this year, it's more important than ever to understand different perspectives and biases that come- uh, Shout out to you. Go check out the sponsor, guys. Anyway, so it's 2009, and by now, everything mm. new and fun and exciting was definitively millennial. Throughout the 15 years prior to this point, millennials were slowly but surely dominating and pushing out Gen X to be the younger, newer generation in youth culture. Smosh, College Humor, Higa, and Ray William Johnson were all examples of content made by millennials for millennials. And we as Gen Z consumed it too because, well, our generation wasn't really old enough to make stuff for ourselves. We were essentially the younger siblings to millennials, passively exploring the world created for Higa? us by those who were older. Rage Comics, The Annoying Orange, Planking, The Duck Song, Crazy Frog, and Slender Man were such examples, but Zoomers enjoyed- I just noticed, was that man planking on top of a McDonald's sign? How did he- how did he even get there? But yeah, this is right though. With them just as much, if not more than millennials. So much so- We were the same motherfucker who hated on millennials like crazy. I don't even- I don't hate millennials. The thing is, bro, every generation hates the other one, right? No matter what. So, like, I, I don't really, I don't really hate them. I don't care. That some of them, like Country Balls, Troll Face, Pepe the Frog, and Wojak, are still used by us to this day. Mm. But then something happened after 2009. Generation Z started becoming teenagers and were beginning to develop their own culture, distinct from the trends, memes, and slang that millennials had created up to that point. Slowly mm. but surely, more and more content started to be created not just for Zoomers, but by oh, Zoomers. Is that Maddie B? Okay, please don't count Maddie B and people of like that that made Maddie B raps. That made Gen Z. MC my goat. Yo, is that your goat? Let me go back. Surely, more and more content started to be created. Maddie B raps, bro. I never forget the first time I heard this, man. It was like 2014, and my brother just showed me a clip of it. I don't know why. He a goat, W A A. You know what? If y'all Maddie B, I f with them. They did not just for Zoomers, but by Zoomers Maddie B as raps. well. As the 2010s progressed further, it became clearer than ever that Gen Z was growing its position within youth culture, diminishing the millennials that had dominated just a few years prior. This is the exact same thing that will happen with Gen Z. And then I just saw, I think I just saw Lil Nas X twerking on a pole. Please don't count that for, for Gen Z either. Generation Alpha today. Just like from 2010 for Gen Z, from 2025 onward, a brand new culture created by Gen Alpha will develop. But wait, haven't they already started? Well, many people are mistakenly identifying more recent slang as Gen Alpha. Bruh, what's a phantom tax? Can, can we not have people do this? Could you not? Is this what journalism has come to? Journalism is a dead career. Don't get a journalism degree. There's no point. What is a phantom tax? Your guide to Gen Alpha slang. Jeez, yo, in 10 years, I'm gonna have to be looking at this, bro, because I'm not gonna be able- I can barely keep up with some of the stuff. Like, when we were, when we were watching that uh, Birdie video and he was talking about internet trends that need to leave, I don't know what mogging is. Like, I legit learned that in the video. I don't I don't know what a mogging is. You, you can get mog somebody or something. I, I don't know. Alpha, which isn't really a what? true. what? <laughs> Terms like Riz, what the fuck is Mew? Bet, God, on God. Okay, I've been saying bet for years. Like, I don't know. It's been a thing. Honestly, it's been a thing black people have been saying for a long time. But I guess it's mainstream now. Riz, God, on God. These are new. Oh, on God is not new. Cap. And pretty much Cap's anything mentioned in the song. So 
Can I just mute this section? <laughs> are not truly Gen Alpha. These Rain are all words created by Gen Z for Gen Z. It's just that Gen Alpha, like a younger sibling, copied what was being said and used it to the point where it became cringy and Jeez. annoying. So yes, these terms are definitely part of Gen Alpha's culture right now. But sadly, us Zoomers have to take responsibility for creating and using them in the first place. Okay, you might say. It's not all, bro. It, it, it's the kids past like, dude. Y'all kids past like the 08s and whatever. 08s, y'all just be, y'all just be, I don't know, bro. I don't know. Y'all just be wildin'. But surely there's something that exists right now that's clearly Gen Alpha and not part of Gen Z. And yes, you'd be half correct. This video wouldn't be complete no, without don't. mentioning Skibbity Toilet. One of the I'm first just saying, it's not all y'all, but a lot of y'all, from what I see, is, by Gen a is sad. Rather than Gen Z. Bursting into the spotlight in 2023, this bizarre masterpiece featuring toilets with human heads fighting humanoids with CCTVs for heads is pulling billions of views and was growing even faster than Mr. Beast. But so even wild. Skibbity Toilet isn't truly Gen Alpha. Since yes, it's definitely enjoyed by Gen Alpha, but almost everything about it comes from Gen Z. The songs- Dude, I'm legit. Have y'all ever caught like your- your little cousin or sister or brother watching Skibbity Toilet, unironically. I've never seen that with like my little cousins. I've never seen that. I think the views are bought. At this point, no, yes, yes, yeah. Some of y'all are saying yes. Luckily, no, no. Caught them watching Elsa Gay. Oh, that's even worse. That, that might be worse. Because that thing gets like, y'all, it gets like 30 million views for each video. That means, there, yes, there's a lot of younger kids and Gen Alpha kids, but 30 million worth of them watching that every day? I just can't believe it in the show have been used by Gen He's Z an for kid. years, and any Zoomer or Millennial who used to watch YouTube poops or SFM videos will immediately recognize the frenetic, unpredictable anime. Nah, yeah, these these Shrek videos. I don't know if you, who remembers Shrek is Shrek is love, Shrek is life. Isn't that what it's called? Nah, they took it down. Yo, oh my God, that thumbnail was crazy. Yeah, that's what started it. I think that's what started it. Nations used throughout the series. Even the creator himself is someone definitively part of Gen Z. A comparison can be made with Fred, a series on YouTube that blew up 15 years ago, Fred which was made for Gen Z kids at the time, but created by a millennial. Who was watching Fred? I was not watching Fred. I was not watching Fred. <laughs> Look, I was a dumb kid, but I was not, I guess, as brain rotted to watch Fred. So Skibbity Toilet Not clearly me. serves as a bridge from Gen Z to Gen A, and a stepping stone to future content was so funny created back for then. Gen A I really don't by think so. Gen A. Still, the series is absolutely closer to being considered Gen Alpha culture, even if everything about it came from Gen Z. Hmm. Was 10 watching Fred back then? In 2009, no one made a video for millennials pointing out how they were at the pinnacle of their youth, and that over the next 15 years, they would be on a slow but steady decline, giving way for Generation Z to replace them as society's newer, younger, cooler generation. But looking back now, we can clearly see that starting from the 2010s, Gen Z's influence on youth culture only strengthened, while millennials only weakened. And it's in this exact same way where we find ourselves now in the final year of Generation Z's peak, with our cachet and mm. relevance in the space only declining. Fred was to go for a while. Out. To put it succinctly, Gen Alpha is rising, Gen Z is falling, and Millennials are out. Now, don't get me wrong, Zoomers. I'm I don't know about that though. Like even. Like, I feel like no generation is permanently out. You know what I mean? Even the older generations, you have like the, the super famous people and stuff like that. Okay, for trends, yeah, trends. Cause trends is low key like, trends is kind of like a young young man's game, right? Where it's like trends that are popular. So I guess for that, everything else, nah, it's not, it's not like everybody. I don't think millennials are even out. No, not even close to it. Damn, you're making us feel old, bro. <laughs> we gotta admit it. It's, okay, we gotta admit it until everybody's out the road it will be at the point when gen z starts having kids because now that millennials have kids and gen alpha is their kids or wh whatever the f when the when we reach the point where gen z starts having kids honestly we're an infertile generation bro we're a loveless generation man dating apps have ruined us okay so we're, we're gonna be the first generation where birth rates just drop down <clears throat> nobody's having sex nothing nobody's having babies but once gen z starts having kids then we'll know then we'll know
I'm not saying we're old we got yet, to move on eventually. by 2025, nearly all of us would be fully grown adults, regardless of whether or not we actually feel like one. Mm. Generation Z is still very much part of Stodger the goes crazy. but to come back to the roller coaster metaphor, we're on the last half of the ride, on the way down. Now before you get depressed about our generation's inevitable decline, here's the silver lining. Just mm. like a roller coaster, the best part of youth is going down the ride. The part where we're mm. old enough to make decisions for ourselves, have our own money to spend, and explore life more meaningfully. Yet young enough to still have much of the curious, ambitious, childlike energy. Nah, you're not, you're not young enough. You know why? Because bro, I, I even be seeing y'all kids now, y'all hear somebody's like above the age of 25. Damn bro. Damn. Just, just wrap it up. You're 25 plus. Oh my God, your life is over. You're like, you're, you're, you're balding. Oh my God, just give it up, man. I can't wait till, till that starts. When that starts happening to the kids that be saying that shit, it's over for you. I hope you know that. It's, I, I'm gonna die laughing, bro. When I start seeing that, I'm like, oh my God, bro. Y'all, y'all be pissing me off with that. Now 25 is old. <laughs> I swear, bro. When I, <laughs> I swear, when I did my 21st birthday stream, on oh God, I saw a kid in chat like, damn. Like, my nigga, how old are you, bro? 11? 10? What do you mean, damn? For me turning 21. Come on, bro. From our earlier days. So as we hold Gen 30 was, bro, 30 is not old. Them in their rise 30 is to be not society's old. newer, younger, cooler generation, fetus. they will Love very probably soon seven. become old enough to let go of our trends, memes, and slang, and develop the next- Good riddance to a lot of these slangs. Bussin, pack it up. Got pack it up out of here immediately. It should be packed up by this year. Drip, drip is cool. Up, uh, that's that's been been that uh, people have been saying that. Cap, that's fine. Bet is fine. Yap, get that shit out of here immediately. Get it out immediately. Immediately. I'm happy a lot of these are gone. Generation of youth culture. And as we prepare for our final ride down this roller coaster we call youth, it will be sure to fondly Wee, say roller coaster. goodbye, I don't Gen know why Z. I did that. Hello. Gen A. No! Wow, that was actually a prophetic video. I'm gonna like that. Yeah, so, um, anyways, GG's. Uh, we're in conclusion. The video was saying that we're washed. It's over. Time to hang it up. Uh, in about the next, like, three years, you're gonna have a mortgage, divorced wife with three kids you don't even like, to be honest. You're gonna be balding. And life is pretty much over. So, uh, yeah, if you're watching this on the tube, join the Discord.